The Witcher Season 2 Episode 2 titled Kanan Kania Mahan and this episode I found to be 95% good. I'll talk about that 5% that I didn't quite enjoy but I found this episode be mostly enjoyable where we are learning more about Grill. We're finding more about Grill, about his upbringing, uh, the other witches, you know, what type of life do they live inside their own home, the father figure of his, the training, the life, the, the, the upbringing of the witches. Like, we find so much world building of this mythology on these monster hunters. It just comes witch and witch and witch are on, you know, and we're only, we're only on episode two. And it's so in with witchness. Yes, we got the monster. And the monster of this episode is really well put together. And it kind of does immediately have that whole element towards it because we have that classic thing of like, if you have sex, you die mindset. And it's the you know, type of thing that is very common with classic horror films. So you have that kind of whole element. And the creature design is, I mean, the creature design in this, in this show has been really really spot on in series one and these two episodes so far and the creature in this episode is really put on and really really well done and and all that but also exploring the relationship between girl and and i want to say Cersei, but it's uh uh Suri of girl and Suri and in the whole thing of like people are questioning girl about are you waiting to be in a, in a kind of way a father figure you know you're not really if you think about the following type even like you know typically you know, oh i care for her or you know i'll protect you like you're not really the white knight the knight shining armor type um are you sure you're ready to do this and it's like that journey but also the great thing about it is that it means that we have an improvement of Shuri. Because Shuri in season one was kind of like this naive, stared young woman. And now she is a fully fleshed counter. She's more than that. She's basically just, she has a sense, she has more counter. That is a very intriguing aspect to her. And all the stuff that we are in the home of the witches or one of the homes of the witches is great and wonderful and all that the things i don't enjoy this episode and i feel like this is going to be a running theme is that the stuff with yennefer i realized that yennefer had i yeah yennefer was interesting for me at the beginning of the show in general back in season one where she was a form, and then, you know, it's the whole thing. Someone who was a form, who acts, who gets treated a certain way, who is desired to be a certain thing, and she changes herself to be more accepted in society. I found that really fascinating, really interesting, and made the category, you know, a witch character. But after that, it kind of felt like, even with like the romance angle, and I know that's a thing from the books, and I know that they even include that in the games, and all that kind of stuff, the romance between Girl and, and Yennefer. But it kind of feels like, after they did the main thing, it kind of feels like kind of they kind of just like have her being things, and doing stuff, and we're out. It kind of feels like they don't really know what to do with the character, but they need to have put the character in there. And I kind of feel like the whole concept of let when Girl reunites with Yanfa is when we see her for the first time since the last time that we've seen her in season one. I think that would be a more thing than you know this whole thing of like dreams and uh, you know. Elves, like elves are fine. It's a you know supernatural. It's a you know medieval you know Lord of the Wings type thing. But that's fine. But it's um yeah, I just 
it's just not gripping me. The times that I have looked over my phone, I just love when Yenver's storyline is going on. Because I, I just don't find that well appealing. But yeah, this is a 95% I really enjoyed this episode. It's just like, Yenver, yeah, sorry. It's not really, uh, you're not gripping me like the main character is. <laughs> 